Excuse me. Hi, um... Look, I know I just came up to you and you don't even know me. And what I'm about to ask you is crazy. But... Can I ask you for a huge favor? There is this creepy old guy following me around and... Asking me these really weird and personal questions. And I know he's doing it just to stare at my, uh, chest. I know this sounds odd, but... Could you pretend to be my partner? Just for a bit, so he can stop looking at me, you know? You'll do it. Oh, thank you so much. So, my card is right here. And I see you don't have much, so if you want... You can put your stuff in my cart. I'll pay for your groceries as thanks if you want. Alright then. I still have a little bit of shopping left to do if that's okay. Yeah? Alright, cool. By the way, my name is Angie. Interesting name you have. It's nice to meet you. So, uh, do you often save damsels in distress like this? This is your third time. Co workers of yours. So they said they felt safe around you. I can see why. I feel safer with you already. Alright, let's see... I still need a... Oh no, he's staring at me again. Okay, don't look. But right behind you is the old creepy pervert. Here, put your arm around me and pretend I said something funny. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you are warm. Sorry about that. You just smell really good. You feel like a fresh blanket straight out of the dryer. That reminds me, I need to pick up some laundry detergent. Is he still looking? He is. Would you be okay with walking through the store like this? You don't have some girl of your own somewhere who's going to murder us, right? You're single. Okay, good. That would be awkward. More so. Alright, they still have my brand in stock. Well, they used to. It's the last one. Do you ever feel sort of guilty about taking the last one? Of anything, not just detergent. All the time? Me too. It's like, I always imagine some poor woman with eight kids looking for the perfect laundry detergent. She finds the perfect brand, but then she sees there's none left, and she's like, well, I guess my kids aren't going to have fresh clothes anytime soon. You ever feel like that too? Yeah. Oh my god. It's silly. I know it's silly, but my brain just comes up with these weird, unrealistic scenarios. I can't help it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling again. You probably don't want to hear all this. You're okay with it? Oh, you are very sweet. Still, I shouldn't treat you like you're my therapist. Yeah, I go to therapy. I used to think it was just for crazy people, or people with real problems. But it really does help. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Someone who doesn't judge and is just there to listen and help you sort your mental baggage out. Did I just come out of a session? 
Are you kidding? No, not dressed like this. Sports bra and yoga pants. Yeah, I did just come from the gym. You're not one of those people who think I'm asking for it because of my clothes, are you? No. Hey, I wasn't accusing you. In fact, I noticed you didn't stare at my breasts at all when I first approached you. Yeah, I know they're big, but you've been really honorable so far. Bet you know what color my eyes are too, don't you? Oh, wow, you answered so quickly. Very good. I'm impressed. Oh, I just realized we've been talking all the time and not shopping. Sorry. You've probably got some important things to get to. Alright, I only need a couple more things and then I'm done. Do you need anything else? Oh, you have a delivery. Well, that means we have to go all the way to the back of the store. Okay, then. We can go pick up the rest of my things on the way back there. If that's okay, yeah? Great. Oh, hello there. You're very close. Oh no, it's fine. You're perfect as a fake partner. Are you a professional actor? No. Okay, then what do you do for work? Yeah, I can definitely see you in that role. Oh, me. I'm a fashion designer. You have very nice glasses, by the way. They look black from a distance, but as you get closer, you see a hint of blue. Very stylish. Do you like your job? That's good. Me? Yeah, I love it. I just love seeing people feeling good and empowered wearing clothes I had a hand in making. It can be stressful. But I wouldn't give it up for anything. All right, it seems like that's everything. So we can head down this way and... Oh no, he's back. And he's just standing right there in the middle staring at me. And we can't go the other way because there's a lady blocking the path with our card. Shoot. What are we going to do? Alright, let me think. I think I have an idea. But you might not like it. Do you trust me? <sighs> okay, lean in. It looks like he's gone. He okay there? Yeah, I know. I don't really like the public display of affection either. But it worked. He's gone. Hopefully we won't see him again. And that, uh... Wasn't actually bad. Oh... Oh my god. Did you hear what she said about us? Do you think she's really going to get the manager? Of course I have to be a Karen. I'm so sorry I dragged you into this. If you just want to get your things and leave now, I understand. No? He'll stay? Yeah, so I would love it if you stayed. <laughs> That's right. You were in too deep now. Okay, let's go get your delivery. 
thank you again for doing this for me. You're very sweet to do this. No, it is a big deal. After all, you're taking time out of your busy day to help someone you don't even know. You make me feel safe. Alright, then tell me what you would be doing right now if I hadn't bothered you. What would you be doing at home? Playing video games? Oh, maybe the laundry as well. You're happy to do this? Yeah, you're right. Some men are really creepy. And they shouldn't be able to get away with doing it. And they think that just because I'm a short ass with big boobs, wearing workout clothes, I'm inviting them to make a pass at me. And that ain't happening. Partially thanks to you. So... Thank you again. You're one of the good people. Don't deflect, I'm serious. You should accept compliments more. That's what everyone tells you. Well, they're right. Okay, we're here. Oh, wow. That's a big box. Yeah, go ahead and slide in underneath. That's everything. Thank you, miss. You have a nice day, too. So, what's in the box, anyway? Valentine's Day cards. For your co-workers. Interesting. Wait a second. Is this like what we used to do in school? Where you give everyone a Valentine's Day card and everyone has a box on their desk? It's exactly that. Oh, your boss put it all together. That's cute. So, what kind of cards are these? They come with silly straws. Oh, so that's why you have two bags of chocolates. You're going to put a little chocolate pieces in there as well. Okay, that sounds really cool. I'd like to see one. Hello, is something wrong, Mr. Manager? What are you so... Oh, God. Listen, it's not what it looked like, I promise. We're not in a relationship. I just met them today. What? Right, context. So there is this creepy old man who's been following me around with flimsy excuses to try to talk to me. And all he really wants to do is peek down at my top. What? You see him now. He's standing next to the old woman from before. Where? So manager, 7 o'clock. So he has been following me around everywhere. That's why I talked to them. And they have been pretending to be my partner ever since. The only reason we kissed was because he blocked our path of the aisle. So you're going to have a word with him now. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, uh... I wanna go. Yeah, I wanna get this over with. Yeah, let's go do self-checkout. I don't really feel like talking to anyone else right now. You're pretty good at that. You've used self-checkout a lot, haven't you? You used to work in a store like this. Did you work in this one? 
Ah, different city. Okay. Yeah, they are all the same, pretty much. Okay, go ahead and scooch over and... Hey, I said I was gonna pay. Oh, you forgot. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Sneaky. Oh god, he's still staring at us. I thought the manager was going to... Oh, there they are. Huh. <laughs> Looks like the pervert is leaving. Alright, mission accomplished. And <laughs> did you see the look he gave us? Enemies for life, you say? Yeah, he's probably not too fond of us. The old woman too. Oh right, I forgot about her. But it looks like she's leaving too. Well, I guess that's it then. He can't perv on me anymore. I know I've said it many times already, but... Thank you. He really did make me feel safe and protected. But... I guess we're done. Yeah, go ahead and take your stuff. Oh, don't forget your cards down there. There you go. It was really nice meeting you. Was that? Oh, you're right. He could be out in the parking lot waiting for us. Yes, you can absolutely walk me to my car. I'm packed out quite a ways. <laughs> yes, you might put your arm around me again. Oh my god, he really was waiting for us out there. What are you... Oh, I see. You're going around the other way to obscure his vision. Smart. I'm like half your size after all. <laughs> I felt kind of crappy after we talked to the manager. But you turned my mood around again. You are quite special, you know that, right? You are! Stop deflecting! Well, this is my car. Thank you. It's okay. Guess me where I need to go. Oh, you don't have to do that. Unloading stuff into my trunk. Oh really? Is this what partners do? Then I gotta say, you are very committed to your role. I'm starting to think you enjoy being my fake partner. So, where are you parked? So, I guess you won't be needing a ride to your car then. Thank you once again for doing this. Maybe next time I go shopping, I could have an actual partner with me. <laughs> You're very sweet. I was wondering if maybe, uh, you would want to get coffee tomorrow? Or maybe even lunch? I do owe you for what you did. Protecting me from weird perverts and paying for my stuff. Oh, really? You don't think being a decent human being should be rewarded? Listen, if I'm being honest, I'm not just asking you out to repay your kindness. I'm asking you out because I like you. You're making me feel safe. And you're funny, and you're kind, and you're sweet. I think I'm really attracted to you. And I would like to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yes, I am using the girls to my advantage. Not necessary. Okay, so... What do you say? You will. Oh, that makes me very happy. So, do you want to give me your number? Alright, I'll write it down now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, alright. Let me text you real quick, just to make sure. And there it goes. Yeah, that's me. The kiss emoji. Great. Um, before I go, though, can I ask you for one more favor? Can I, uh, kiss you again? I kind of liked kissing you in the store, even though the setting wasn't ideal. Yeah? Alright. Come here. Is it bad that I'm looking forward to doing that again? You're looking forward to it too. <laughs> I'm glad. I should probably get going, even though I don't want to. But I do have stuff to do at home. Will you text me when you get home? Okay, cool. Um, one more hug before I leave? Mm, still warm. I could get used to this. Okay, I really should go. Text me tonight, and we can work out the details of our first day tomorrow. I will. He got home safe too. Bye.